Hello guys, welcome to Tech Vitals. Today we are going to learn about R sync or the remote synchronization. The R sync command synchronizes the files and folders from one location to another while minimizing the data transfer. It is commonly used for copying and synchronizing files and directories remotely as well as locally in Linux or Unix systems. With the help of rsync command, we can copy and synchronize our data remotely and locally across directories and across the networks and perform the data backups. So let's see the example of rsync. At first, let's create two directories, one and two. So here we have one and two directory. Let's go inside the one directory and let's create a empty text file named one.txt all right so we have one.txt now let's go one step back so we have one directory and two directory inside the one directory we just created one.txt file now we are going to copy this one directory inside the two directory but instead of cp command we are going to use rsync command but first if you haven't installed this command then you'll have to install this command using dnf install rsync make sure to run this command as a super user Okay, so I have already installed this command, but if you haven't, then you can install it this way. Okay, so as we were saying, uh, we are going to copy this one directory inside this two directory. So we'll use rsync, then we'll give attribute hyphen av. So we are going to uh, transfer this one directory inside two directory. So, so the source is one because we are going to transfer this directory and the destination is 2 because we are going to transfer this 1 inside this 2 directory so let's hit the enter okay so it said uh, it transferred this 1 directory and the 1.txt file which is inside this 1 directory inside this uh, 2 directory so if we go to the 2 directory and check the list we have 1 and inside 1 we also have this one dot text okay so now again uh, let's go back to this uh, original one directory so here we have one dot text now uh, let's create some more files I am going to create a text file that contains the number from 1 to 100 so if I type seq sequence and then type 10 then it will display the number from 1 to 10 so if I type sequence 100 then it will display or it will give me the numbers from 1 to 100 and I am going to redirect those numbers in a text file named 100.txt okay so here we have 100.txt and inside this 100.txt we have numbers from 1 to 100 so if you type cat 100.txt and as you can see we have uh, numbers from 1 to 100 okay so in this one directory now we have two files 1.txt and 100.txt uh, let's also create one more file uh, that contains numbers from 1 to 200 and let's redirect it in a text file named 200.txt okay so in total we have three files inside this one directory 1.txt, 100.txt and 200.txt now let's go back so previously we transferred this one directory inside this two directory and now we are going to repeat that process again so we'll type rsync hyphen av 
1 and we'll transfer it into this to directory so let's press the enter so now it says it transferred 100.txt and 200.txt inside the to directory but it didn't transfer the 1.txt because this 1.txt was already transferred in the first place so what's happening here is that it is simply synchronizing the destination folder so inside this to directory we have one directory and inside one we have 1.txt, 100.txt and 200.txt when we transferred the one directory inside this two directory in the first attempt it transferred 1.txt and when we tried to transfer it again in the second attempt then it found that 1.txt has already been transferred so it just transferred those files that has not been transferred and that's the benefit of this rsync command it can also be used to perform the backups so if we go to the original one folder so here we have uh, these three text files now let's say if we remove all these uh, text files so we'll delete all of this text file from this one directory so now the one directory is empty and if we create a new file named new.txt and try to transfer this again using rsync hyphen av one inside two so now it just transferred new.txt but now if we go to our two directory and from here we go to one directory and check the list then we still have these three text files even if we deleted these text files from the original one directory and when we try to sync it again then it just transferred the new.txt so by synchronizing the files using this rsync even if we lost our data from the original directory then we will still have these files as a backup so that's really helpful and we can also use this rsync command to synchronize the files across the network so here we just synchronized the files locally within the same host but we can also transfer and synchronize the files between two or more hosts so let's try that okay so right now we are in host 1 and uh, let's try to connect to host 2 using SSH command and we'll log in as the user Paul and the IP address of the host 2 is 192.168.4.16 okay so now we are logged in in host 2 as Paul if we check the list of home directory so we have these directories for our testing purpose let's create a new directory and let's give it a name of testing so now in this host 2 we have testing directory okay so now let's uh, exit the connection and now we are back in the host 1 okay so now we'll transfer this one directory into our host 2 let's clear the screen first okay so now to transfer this one directory into our host 2 we'll type rsync hyphen av and the name of the directory that we want to transfer that is one and now the IP address and the user of the host 2 so Paul at the rate 192.168.4.16 colon and now we'll need to give the path where we want to transfer this one directory so the path is slash home slash Paul and inside the home directory of Paul we just created a directory named testing so we're going to transfer this one directory inside that testing directory so slash testing now let's hit the enter okay so this new.txt has been transferred inside that testing directory so let's check let's log in to that host 2 
Now inside our testing directory, we must have this one directory. Yes. And inside this one, we must have that new dot text. So yes, uh, we successfully transferred this one directory and new dot text file inside our testing directory of host two. Now let's exit the connection and let's go to our one directory. Now let's create some new text files. So let's create uh, another dot text and one more dot text. Okay, so inside one directory, we have three text files now: new dot text, another dot text, and one more dot text. So if you try to transfer this uh, one directory into our host two the new dot text has already been transferred so this time only these two text files that is another dot text and one more dot text should be transferred so let's try so let's repeat that command Oops, actually I need it to go back one step and now we can use that command. Okay, so as you can see, this time it just transferred one more dot text and another dot text. And if we log in to our host 2, inside our testing directory inside one we must have all of these three text files and as you can see we do have this three text files and now even if we delete all the files from the one directory from our host one then still we will have these three text files inside our host two which we can use as a backup so that's the use of rsync it simply synchronizes the files and directories within the machine as well as within multiple networks which can also help us to perform the data backup and that's gonna do it for this video i'll see you soon with the next video till then keep learning goodbye